Since the NFL season is officially over and the off season has begun, I just wanted to do an overview of the photos I was able to get from the current Buffalo Bills roster. And we'll begin with the big baller, general manager of the Buffalo Bills, Brandon Bean. And as you see on there, he wrote to me, best wishes. Brandon Bean, the general manager that put the team together. And we'll move up to Spencer Brown. Spencer Brown, the starting right tackle for the Buffalo Bills. Big man, big man, and he brings an attitude out there when he plays as well. On to Rick Bates. His name's really Ryan Bates, but his teammates call him Rick. And I've talked to him about that a few times. I told him every time I yell out Rick Bates, somebody yells to me, his name's Ryan. And he said to me, well, tell him my name's Rick. <laughs> Good guy. Funny guy. And we'll move on to Mitch Morris. Mitch Morris, the center of the team, the leader, one of the captains. And you can see how he was a captain this year. As you can just feel his leadership on the team during the season. And he brings a lot to the team there. And you can see um, him pulling in one of those pictures. And I talked to him about that. And uh, I think that's one of the big things he brings to the team is how, how, how good he is at pulling after he snaps the ball. Move over to Roger Saffold. Roger Saffold um, came to the team. He's our starting left guard. Came to the team from the Titans in the offseason. And um, a lot of fans are down on Roger, but I'm keeping it positive here. Uh, got this autographed at training camp. And... Uh, I don't care. He's a Buffalo Bill, so I like Roger Saffold. <laughs> Deion Dawkins. I got this autographed at Micah Hyde's charity softball game. And he said this was hot. He loved it. He actually even put it in um, one of his videos from his channel. And he does have his own um, YouTube channel. You want to check that out. Dion is a great guy. And um, it's a lot of fun to see what he does off the field as well, as he was our um, Walter Payton Man of the Year. So he does do some great things off the field. And you can see more about that on his YouTube channel or on his Twitter account. But he does do some great things, and I'm proud to have Deion Dawkins on the team. And last year he had had that battle with COVID, so I'm glad uh, he's going to be able to put that into the past and move forward. Then we move on to Tommy Doyle. Tommy Doyle, in this picture, he's catching a, a touchdown, actually. He is uh, one of our offensive linemen, but he caught a touchdown against the Patriots in the playoffs and got this autograph at the Micah Hyde softball tournament or softball game as well, charity softball game. And um, Tommy and his mother is very um, big on Facebook as well. I've uh, talked to her a couple of times on there. Tommy... Really, really nice guy and makes an effort to sign autographs after a lot of uh, days on the training camp field and was injured during the season at the Miami Dolphins game and ended up playing a whole series on a torn ACL. So um, glad to have that up there. And then the head coach of the Buffalo Bills, Sean McDermott. Coach McDermott uh, helped us get to the playoffs and... Um, Really, I thought he should have won Coach of the Year only because of what he did off the field with our team and so many things the team had to deal with during the season, from a school sh or a, a shooting at tops to um, dealing with injuries and um, then, of course, what happened to DeMar and several other things during the year. Sean McDermott was a real leader. And you can see his leadership meant a lot to the team. Moving over to our punter, Sam Martin. Um, got this signed at a game. And Sam, a really nice guy. And eh, you don't know that you need a good punter unless you don't have a good punter. And last year, um, you could see that we needed someone like Sam Martin on our team. And really glad that Sam joined us right before the start of the season um, due to some other issues with the punter that we had. And Sam is just 
Again, really nice guy and a quality punter. Glad to have him on the team. Moving up to Reed Ferguson. Reed Ferguson, the, the longest-timed Buffalo Bill. He's been on the team longer than anyone else. And uh, him and his brother, who plays for the Miami Dolphins, have their own uh, channel as well. You want to check that out. Um, really good shows uh, to see what it's like to be a long snapper, to be brothers, to, to just play in the NFL. And I yelled to his brother at a Dolphins game, that's the other Ferguson. And he put his thumb up <laughs> towards me. Um, there's Gabriel Davis. Gabriel Davis, the wide receiver two on our team. I love it when he struts after touchdowns. I think he should do that after every one of his touchdowns. That uh, Vince McMahon strut, I call it. I think it's actually after a UFC fighter, but he does it really well. And uh, I think it's one of the best touchdown celebrations in the league. There's Ike Boddicker. Ike actually was on the injured reserve most of the year this year. He got hurt last year in the Patriots game. Um, but Ike signed that for me. Um, hopefully we get to see a great year from Ike next year as he's back from his injury. There's A.J. Klein. A.J. Klein, uh, linebacker, came back to the team in the middle of the year this year. Um, he brings a solid presence as a backup and... Uh, I was glad that AJ was able to come back to our team this year, and you could see that it meant a lot on the field when he was his number was called and he was needed. And there's Trey White. Trey White signed this for me at training camp. Um, he was still rehabbing. Had to take it took almost a whole year to come back from his injury, and uh, boy, he's definitely cornerback number one. Shut down corner. Came out of LSU and. Definitely one of the best corners in the league. And we are so happy that Trey is part of the Buffalo Bills. There's Buffalo Bills kicker, Tyler Bass. Tyler Bass, one of the best kickers in the NFL. And <laughs> he brings it each and every week. Very intense in the in the pregame. You can see how focused he is on the game. And uh, Tyler, again, one of the best kickers in the NFL. Khalil Shakir. Khalil, I actually had a picture signed by him during training camp of him playing in college, but I wanted to get one of him in the Bills uniform, so I made this up and got it at one of the games. He said, I don't usually sign before the games, and I said, I know, but I'm glad you're signing for me now. Um, Khalil really came along during the season, and I think he, he learned a lot from his teammates this year. I think he'll tell you that, too, about how to be a pro, and I think he's going to step up. He's going to really step up in, in year two and have a great season next year. Um, here we go to uh, Dane, or not Dane, um, Johnson. And Johnson is uh, here catching one of the best uh, plays in, in Buffalo Bills history. Here he caught a pick six in the end zone, took it, you know, 100 and some yards for a touchdown against the Ravens last year. You can see there's nobody in the crowd because um, it was one of those COVID games. There was actually a crowd, but there's, was, it was just season ticket holders. Um, but more importantly, look at that Josh Allen celebrating the touchdown in the background there. And then we've got Matt Milano. Matt Milano, woo, Pro Bowl year. Best player on the defense all season. And um, trying to get the glare off there for you. Um, he really had a fantastic season. Matt Milano, <laughs> He he is quality NFL player, and what a season he had this year. Jordan Poyer. Jordan Poyer, I hope there's some way Jordan can remain on the team. All pro po. Uh, yeah, Jordan played with that elbow. It's was funny to have that picture showing his elbow because he played with a big elbow injury all year. I believe he had to have surgery after the season. But Jordan brought it this year. With the other injuries we had on the team, he really helped keep our defense together. And um, again, hopefully he can come back to the team. What a fan favorite he is. Always signing autographs too. Um, yeah, Jordan Poyer. He does a big job of the golf tournament in the offseason as well. Love Jordan Poyer. Tommy Sweeney, tight end. Um, he must be really close friends with Dawson Knox. You always see those guys together. And uh, Tommy... 
uh, talked to me about the fact that in this picture, he's got his thumbs up. He was just trying to make sure he was on side with the referee, but I was really glad that he came over before a game and signed this for me. Cam Lewis um, really plays well on special teams and um, a backup defensive back for our team. Cam, um, proud to have him as part of the Buffalo Bills. Micah Hyde. <laughs> Micah got injured during this year, and you could see the difference. Micah Hyde, what a play he made last year in the playoffs. Probably the best defensive play I've ever seen. I thought for sure it was a long Patriots touchdown. He came out of nowhere like Superman and intercepted the pass. Uh, and he is the, the one that has that softball tournament, and if you or softball game at Pilot, or I call it Pilot Field. It's where the Bisons play, but it hasn't been Pilot Field for a while in Buffalo. But Micah Hyde, great player. Tremaine Edmonds, talk about a player we need to re-sign. Holy cow, this young man has just become better and better. I can't get that glare off there. Um, better and better every year, and he is still very young. Um, hopefully he can sign. I'd like to see if his brother would sign with us and play safety for us as well. But um, Tremaine is a quality linebacker, and any other NFL team will tell you that. Anybody would be just amazed to have him be part of their organization. So hopefully Tremaine can sign with us again. Ed Oliver, um, <laughs> I don't know why he signed on his face, but um, Ed brings it down the middle of the field in the, in the defensive line. And um, Ed had games this year where he was just dominant, dominant player. Greg Rousseau, call him Groot. So I put a little Groot in there with him. Um, <laughs> such a tall player and um, just the physical skills that he brings to the team. Brings a lot on defensive line. Quentin Morris. Quentin Morris, tight end. Boy, um, he came off the practice squad from last year, and you could see it in training camp, how great of a training camp he had, that he had to make the roster this year. And he had some great catches during the season as well. Um, Quentin is just going to become a better and better player for us moving forward. Von Miller. Woo-hoo! What an offseason signing this was. Before his injury, he was dominating on the defensive line. And I think his injury in Detroit, which Detroit should look at their field, because it looks like to me that a few players are getting hurt on there. Um, but Von Miller, what a player he is. Um, boy, if you ever get a chance to watch him on Twitch, to uh, he plays video games on there. That's sort of fun to do every once in a while. Check out Von Miller. And uh, his leadership with our defensive line means a lot too. Tyler Medikevich. One of the best special teams players in the NFL. I enjoy it when he comes in, gets to come in during games to play some linebacker as well. Um, Tyler actually saw me uh, while he was stretching and got up and ran over to me to sign this for me. So I appreciated Tyler doing that while he was stretching for the pregame of a game. We talked about him having a big hitting day to day and he said that was the plan. Okay, this is one of my wife's favorite players. So I mocked up a picture of him with, uh, you know, this is obviously Photoshop because there's three of them on there. But um, my wife actually calls this player her nephew. And uh, we got to meet his father during the season as well. Um, Saran Neal, he always seems to be so happy, but so focused at the same time. And I got to see him with his uh, little girls too. He's a, he's a great guy. Um, again, that's probably why uh, he's one of my wife's favorites. Or is my wife's favorite. Um, here's Kair Elam. Kair Elam, this year's first-round draft pick out of Florida. And um, people were on him at the start of the year that he didn't get to start. But he was moving into a different style of defense than what he played in college. And by the end of the season, he was the starter and uh, played some quality downs for us. So I'm looking for some great play out of him next year. Kair Elam, really nice guy too. He's a I had a chance to talk to him a couple of times. And then the player that became the national national celebrity um, after unfortunately having a heart attack on the field, um, actually dying out there until he had CPR performed in an AED. Um, a lot of people donated money towards a toy drive. I hope DeMar um, could somehow turn that into AEDs being into schools because um, that's what saved his life. If there wasn't an AED machine there to uh, shock his heart, 
um, he probably wouldn't be alive right now. So some schools don't have those at sporting events, and they all should, or at least if they have them, everyone should know where they are and how they work. They're, I don't think that they're very hard to use. Um, so hopefully tomorrow can turn that into something. I know a lot of people have already learned how to do CPR because of watching this game and I'm really proud to have DeMar, part, not only part of the team, but to have his autograph into my collection. Naheem Hines, <laughs> Woo! one of the nicest guys on the team. Naheem, I, can't, I still can't believe that I had a chance to actually talk to him before the game about um, what a ride they've been on as a team um, since he joined the team. And then he turned around and he said, you know, playing for Detroit, or not for Detroit, for Indianapolis, um, he thought it was amazing to be uh, an Indianapolis Colt and all the things you had to do off the field. But what a ride we've been on since he joined the Buffalo Bills. And then he went out and he took the opening kickoff for a touchdown. And then he ran back another one, another kickoff for a touchdown. And I told everybody. <laughs> and he signed a, a selfie I took with him before that game too. And he wrote it... Uh, touchdowns for three on here as that was DeMar Hamlin's number this year as you saw in the picture I just showed you DeMar was wearing 31 but that was because it was the year before the picture was the year before Boogie Basham Boogie defensive line um <laughs> uh, I always yell out Boogie when he comes by and he always smiles uh, and he has told me that he really appreciates my support of the team and uh I look forward to every each and every time that Boogie's on the field and cheering for him. Uh, there's Dane Jackson. Dane Jackson, cornerback with the Buffalo Bills, um, celebrating a, a touchdown against, or an interception against the Cardinals. And uh, Dane, <laughs> defensive back for the Bills. And my favorite Buffalo Bill, Dawson Knox. Dawson Knox, um, tight end for the Bills. And uh, he had a hard season this year, losing his brother right before the start of the season. But he still brought it each and every week. And, uh, you know, he was asked to do a lot of blocking this year, which he did. He does what he's asked to do. And he steps up and plays a, a really great brand of football. And I had the opportunity to meet his grandmother. I gave him Dawson a, a gift for his grandmother during the season, of uh, just a picture of them together making sure that they know that they are part of the Mafia family. And um, Dawson signs autographs all the time. I've got his on a jersey. He he just, he, he, he takes time to be with the fans, and I appreciate it. Jamison Crowder um, looked like he was going to have a great season at the slot for the Buffalo Bills until he got an ankle injury. Broke his ankle, I believe. Um, so Jamison didn't have the year that he was hoping to have this year because of the injury, but... Hopefully next year we can re-sign him and he, he can have that year next season. <laughs> Matt Barkley. Matt Barkley is so fun. You can always see him joking around with his teammates. There's a YouTube video um, of Josh Allen during the season where they, they sort of scammed Matt and, and made him do a, a cameo video for Josh Allen. He didn't know he was doing it for Josh Allen. He just thought it was for Josh. But uh, it's a funny video. And... Um, you can see he keeps the team light-spirited, and um, uh, Matt brings a lot to us, uh, even though he's on the practice squad. Matt Barkley, quarterback. Jordan Phillips came to the off season, came back to the team in the off season, and I didn't know how big of a signing this would be. But Jordan Phillips, wow, he brought it and really made a presence in the in the middle of the field. He did deal with some hamstring injuries and some other things during the season, but. And a shoulder injury as well. But, yeah, Jordan Phillips, quality player. And he get makes sure to get the crowd involved during the game, too. He knows how important it is to for the crowd to be making noise. Reggie Gilliam, one of the nicest players on the team. Reggie Sledgehammer. He um, uh, always makes an effort to come over before games to talk to fans. And uh, one of those games, I had him sign this for me. <laughs> I've had a couple of funny uh, conversations with Reggie. I asked him what it, it felt like to have uh, Stephon Diggs and Von Miller say that he was the one player on the team that they would most likely like to have date their daughter. And he said, reporting for duty, sir. 
<laughs> and uh, here we go. There's Isaiah McKenzie, fan favorite with the team. Uh, electrifying player with his speed. Isaiah McKenzie, little dirty. He has a YouTube show as well. Each and every week, he'll tell you about what it was like to play in that game. Um, so you want to check that out. There's Mr. Tim Settle, came to the team this year from the Washington Redskins, or Commanders, whatever you want to call them. And uh, Tim has his own uh, music out. You want to check that out at It's Tim. Um, I check it out on Apple Music, but check it out where you get your music. And uh, it's really good, actually. I enjoy listening to Tim's music, and I told him that. The Penguin, Tim Settle. Shaq Lawson, Shaq Lawson. Um, <laughs> Uh, he came back to the team this offseason as well, and Shaq brought it this year. I think he's the player that um, uh, I was most surprised by this year, the one that brought it the most. Um, I didn't think we were going to get as much defensive play and, and as much pressure as we got out of Shaq Lawson. He brought it this year, and I'm glad that he came back to the team. James Cook, running back. Uh, James started to be used more and more and more during the season, and... Uh, his brother plays for the Vikings. I think James is going to be our starting running back next year as Singletary, unfortunately, is going to be a business casualty and uh, probably will end up playing for another team next year. But James is ready to step up. I think he'll be our running back one. And we end with Brandon Bryant. Brandon Bryant, uh, <laughs> wow, what an intense-looking man he is. Um, probably like a bear because he, he just scares you. When you're around him and he looks at you like that. But usually he's smiling with fans. So it makes him like a teddy bear. But um, yeah, Brandon Bryant, a great player with the team. And when he was called upon this year, he stepped up and made some big plays on the defensive front. So there's the pictures. There it is. It's a group. And uh, love my Buffalo Bills. Bills Mafia. You mean family to me. Let's step up. Have another great season next year. And no matter what, each and every day, please remember, God loves you and so do I.